Hey guys! Again, uh, this has it's been a while. This is my usual yearbook class, and so it's nice seeing y'all again, being to talk to y'all. But we're talking about something really important this week: selling yearbook ads. That's my favorite part of yearbook is getting to go around and sell the ads to the businesses. Now you might be having questions about selling yearbook ads, like who do you sell the ads the ads to? Why are we selling ads? And how do you sell a yearbook ad? Well, we are selling yearbook ads to help cut the cost of a yearbook because usually they cost us around seven thousand dollars. But since we sell yearbook ads, it only costs us five thousand dollars, which cuts the two thousand dollars out, which makes it cheaper for the students to buy us. So we don't have to spend as much, and it'll be cheaper for us. Now you might be wondering, how do you sell an ad? So we'll all be given um, little boxes that have a yearbook pins, a form, a price form, the form is for them to fill out for their ad, and the price form is how much each size costs, and the yearbook in there is in there for reference, so everyone who tells you bought an ad last year, and so they'll know what their ad looks like, what size they had, in case they don't remember, because most people don't, it was a year ago, and so you just go in there and show them and see if they'd like to buy one, and now how you actually sell it. So you'll walk into the business, say it's like Brady Bunch, that's a local business in town. You'll be like, hello, and I insert my name. Hello, I'm Francesca Gray from the Ballinger High School Paw Prints. We call them the Paw Prints, not your book, that's our technical name. And we were wondering if we'd like to renew your ad in this year's yearbook. We say renew since they had an ad last year. And so they just, they'll most of the time say yes. And that's because, well, like they mentioned in the one of my articles, they probably will because they're because selling your because we go to them because they usually buy one and we don't go to new businesses because we don't know if they're gonna buy one and we've already already like, made like our amount smaller for like who you sell to because the other businesses they don't want one and that's another tactic we use in how to sell your yearbook ads faster target the right businesses which is from treeringcom and you might also like to mention why you're selling it. It helps to persuade them as to, to buy an ad. Like if you let them know, oh, hey, this helps cut the cost for the students. They also will look at that and say, oh, I want to help the students out. That's also another article from Tree Ring, selling ads, selling your book ads, secrets to advertising success. So that just like implies to them, you're helping us. You're not just helping you, but you're helping the students at Ballinger High School, which is great because most of them went to Ballinger High School, so they understand. And so most of the time, like I said, most of the businesses will say yes. And so you just hand them their forms, they'll fill them out. Everything will go smoothly. And then once they're done, you gather up all your stuff, the forms, and you say thank you. Also, if they pay there, you can leave them. There's a yellow form attached to a white form. You leave them the white form, but if they don't pay you, we don't give them anything. They can take a, they can take a picture, they can make a copy of it, but we can't leave that with them, so that way we know that we're supposed to bill them, because we want to make sure we get everybody's money from all the ads, or we won't be able to make the yearbooks as cheap as they are. And so, but if they do say no, which they won't, you just say, okay, thank you, be polite, be nice, and leave. There's no reason to be rude to them, they just don't want one, and that's there's nothing you can really do about it. You guys are just being rude to them. We gotta make them want one. That's it. Now to like, who do you sell to? We sell to the businesses of Ballinger because places like San Angelo or Rowena or something they don't want to buy a yearbook ad for a Ballinger High School yearbook because it doesn't affect them. There's no reason for them to be in there, and they don't. And most of them probably didn't even really grow up in Ballinger, so there's not really any support idea there that they'd be wanting to have. And so each person will be assigned a business to sell to, and we have loads of different businesses, and we'll get to select them and assign them later. And I want to make sure that y'all come and talk to me and see it and tell me if, like any relationship you have with any of the businesses in town, so because it may make it harder, easier to sell them an ad if you have some kind of relationship. And so like now selling ads, you can sell during school, during like our class periods. You'll have to make sure you go sign out in the office. And uh, and then you'll make sure you get back before your class period's over because they don't want you to be late for another class or lunch, whatever your yearbook time is. Like this one's before lunch, so you won't want to be late for lunch. And then you'll make sure that you sign back in in the office. 
You don't want anybody getting in trouble, so we have to do it in that way. But you can also go after school. You just have to make sure that you go before the business is closing. And mine were like close to like the time of closing because you don't want to inconvenience them or irritate them because you do sell to them regularly. And we don't want anything to make them not want to buy things for us. Selling your ads are very important. Like I mentioned before, it helps cut costs. And we want to make sure like we always get them in. And the businesses in town like to be in our yearbook. It helps spread word to them. So it's important for us and them. It's not hard to sell an ad. It's pretty simple. There's there's several steps, but it's really not that hard. And like I said, I'll find you businesses by tomorrow after y'all let me know of any relationships you have with businesses. And so that'll just run smoothly and you can start selling as soon as tomorrow. And then like, and now does anybody like have any questions? No, everybody's good? That's good. Okay, well good luck with selling your ads and thank you for listening. And so it's going to just like circle back over to me.